Hi and welcome to In The Lux. If this is your first time, my name's Ruby and today I'm gonna to be doing a whole video on how to look luxury on a budget. So my whole channel is about the babe on a budget and I just really want to talk about how you do not have to spend much money to get an outfit that looks really chic and really expensive. And I'm gonna tell you all of my tips that I've learned in the past few years and hopefully you can get some really good inspiration from this video. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. It's at in the Lux and let's just get on to my tips. Okay, so I wanna talk shoes for a minute. So with shoes, I find it's really important to have your staples nailed. So you wanna have a good pair of trainers, a good pair of heels, or a couple, couple of good pairs of heels, and a good pair of sandals, a good pair of boots, and then you've kind of got your collection nailed and you really do not need to spend a lot of money. So I'm gonna go through a few of my favorites, um, shoes wise, and explain just a little bit about them. So, so I think it's really important to have a pair of nude and a pair of black plain stilettos and you really do not need to spend money on these. So these are a pair of nude stilettos that I found in Primark a few weeks ago and they were around about 10 pounds. And I think the key is when you're buying a heel, you wanna try and find a heel that's really flattering to your foot. What designer shoes do really well is they will create the angle so that the foot just looks very elegant and very sexy. So Primark completely nailed it this time. Sometimes they can do it so it's like really straight here and it doesn't have a nice curve and that's just so unflattering. But if it has a really gorgeous sort of like sweeping curve like this and a relatively high heel, that's super flattering for your foot. So I love these. These are from Primark, just a really plain stiletto in the nude color. I've got a pattern, um, you know, like a shiny finish, but you could definitely go for like a suede finish or you could do, um, you could do like a matte faux leather finish and there are a lot of options here. So these nude ones you can get in Primark, New Look, anywhere like that. And they're just gonna go with a lot of different things. You can throw them on with jeans. A really good tip for having a nude heel is that if you've got, say, a dress and you wanna make your legs look as long as possible, the pointy toe is gonna help with that anyway. But also if you choose a nude color, it's just gonna create the illusion of having a really long leg because it's like the leg doesn't finish and there's not like a bold cutoff point if you had a darker shoe. Then I also think it's really important to have a black pair because black goes with everything. These are ASOS, no, these are from Office, but I actually found these in a charity shop for eight pounds and they still sell them in Office for 65. So it's really important to constantly be checking on eBay, checking on, you know, if you're in charity shops and stuff, these literally were like brand new and you never know what you might find in a charity shop or on eBay. So obviously a black stiletto is just really important. You can throw it on with anything. You wanna make sure you have a nude and a black stiletto in your wardrobe, I think personally. It just it gives you a lot more options. And I did have a quick look on Jimmy Choo and Louboutin um, earlier this morning, just to kind of get a bit of a reference point. And I do think, you know, you could really easily wear any of these heels and, you know, if you choose them wisely, people don't need to know that they're from Primark or ASOS or wherever. So the next pair of heels that I wanted to talk about was these strappy, barely there sandals that I got from ASOS for £12.50. And they're really simple, really elegant. Again, they just create a really nice shape to the foot, which I just think is really important. And that's where it starts to look like more expensive. I think it's just, if you find that shape that's very elegant, they're gonna look more expensive. So these are really simple. And I found a pair on Jimmy Choo that look just like these. Again, a very neutral color. This is a browny sort of dark maroon color. So it's gonna go with a ton of different outfits. You don't wanna pick up a pair in lime green because then you're gonna be like, you're not gonna really be able to wear them with much. So I think if you get the basics nailed in the, in the more neutral colors, that's gonna really help you. Then for trainers, um, I think really the key is, you know, it's not gonna look too put together or expensive if you have a pair of really old, 
dirty looking trainers, but again, you do not need to spend a lot of money. So I found these from Primark the other week, and they are white, and I think that's the key. Try and keep them as clean and as nice as possible. Don't wear your sort of nice trainers walking through the muddy park. You wanna wear them out to lunch if you're having a casual day and keep your scruffy trainers for when you're going for a run in the park. But these trainers, I think, if you pair them with the right outfit, can look really, really chic. They are white, but they have a sort of faux, a faux snakeskin sort of finish. And I think with the faux snakeskin, um, a lot of designer shoes are in like that sort of snakeskin print. So I think that sort of makes them look a little bit more high end and really, really cute. And these were only 10 pounds. And again, if you pair them with the right things, keep them nice and clean, keep them tidy, don't wear them running through the park, it's gonna really help. You really don't have to spend much. Okay, so sandals, again, I don't think you need to spend much, but you really always need to keep your eyes open. So I found these sandals in Zara, and they aren't in sort of like a traditional, um, you know, tan that you might choose for a sandal. They are in red, but they were only 25 pounds, and I think what makes them look really expensive is they do have a real leather upper finish. See where it's got all of these sort of tiny marks? That's gonna just make them look a little bit more high-end because it doesn't just look like a cheap sort of plastic finish if that makes sense if this was just like a plain strip the material looks a bit cheaper I think you could easily find a sandal like this in Chanel or Hermes Zara is a really good place to shop I think because they take so much inspiration from the designer clothes and they try and just keep it as as high quality as possible for for as little cost, I think. So I would say Zara's like one of the best places to shop if you're trying to look, you know, a little bit more high-end and chic. So I love these and they do do them in loads of different colors. I think they do them in black and tan and maybe navy. But I got them in red because it was just a little bit different and it can just spice up the outfit a little bit without going too OTT. And I did see Kourtney Kardashian in a pair of red sandals and I thought they looked amazing. Another big tip I have is to just add a heel to an outfit that you were going to maybe wear trainers or if you were going to wear flip-flops okay maybe if you know you've got a really super casual outfit on you don't want to throw on a heel because sometimes that can look crazy but i think if you were just going to wear jeans and a t-shirt maybe like a more of a slouchy white t-shirt or something sometimes when you put a pair of just stilettos in a really neutral color it can just make the outfit just a lot more chic and it makes you feel better as well. Confidence is so important. So if you've got a heel on, I mean, I mean, I always find if I have a heel on, I just feel a lot more confident. I just feel a lot more sort of put together and excited about my outfit. And I think that really, really helps. So adding a heel can really make an outfit and also tucking in your tops whenever possible. So if you have a t-shirt, just tuck the front in, or if you have a, you know, any kind of um, top, like a shirt or something, I think it really helps when you tuck in the top because it just looks like you've put a bit more thought into the outfit. I find sometimes if you just have a loose, untucked top, it can look a little bit scruffy. Um, so yeah, tuck in the top, add a heel, two really easy things to do to just bring the outfit up to the next level. One of the biggest things that I notice is if an outfit fits you properly, that really makes a difference. So if it's tailored correctly, it doesn't need to necessarily be the most expensive um, shirt or dress, but if it fits you well, that can make the world of difference in terms of whether it looks like a more expensive outfit or not. So you can, there are a lot of options. You can buy a dress for 20 pounds and if it doesn't quite fit you right, you can take it to a tailor and they can, they can just make it fit really well for you and that can sometimes be as cheap as sort of like 15 pounds. Whereas if you were going and buying a really expensive dress in Reese, you might spend 90 pounds. So that's an option. But also just making sure when you're buying things, if it doesn't quite fit you right and but you still really like it, you should just make sure that it does fit you and you're not just sort of like making do. Hair, skin and nails. The three most sort of like easy things to nail, I think, in terms of how to look 
more put together, more chic. So with your nail varnish, you wanna make sure that you never have chipped nails because if your outfit's all right, your hair and your makeup looks great but you've got chipped nail varnish, it can just really ruin it. So, you know, either just go for no nail varnish or you could do just a plain sort of um, clear polish or you could just have your nails buffed. That can look really nice, nice and short. Or you could go for red or nude. Nude's quite good because when you do tend to get a little bit of a chip, it doesn't show as much. But I'm also a huge fan of dark colors like dark brown, dark gray and even black can look really nice. Um, so nails really important, you don't have to spend the world. I do not go to a nail salon, I just do my nails once a week and um, just really try and keep on top of that because I hate the look of a chipped nail, it's like ugh. And then hair, again, really easy, just make sure you've always got nice clean hair. You know, you don't have to make sure that you're spending hundreds of pounds. I actually get my boyfriend to cut my hair because I like to just keep it really straight and just have the ends trimmed so I don't spend the, the world of money on my hair. Um, you know, if you just got clean, nice, presentable hair, that really makes a difference. Or you could straighten it, you could add a curl. I also like to do, if my hair is not just freshly washed, I like to do a low sort of bun with my hair in a side part. I think that looks like a really chic hairstyle. Or a high bun is where I love a high bun. Um, for makeup and skin, you want to make sure you're moisturizing every day. I don't use expensive moisturizers. I like to use olive oil to remove my makeup, which costs like two pounds. I buy it from Sainsbury's and it's just extra virgin olive oil. Um, I use that to remove my makeup, but it also keeps my skin nice and soft. I moisturize every day. I'm really big on moisturizing like from head to toe. Um, with makeup, I tend to go to the same sort of makeup style on a daily basis. I like to do a smoky eye and I don't really tend to wear many colours. I like to just keep it really simple. But if you're not a big fan of makeup, you can even just do clean skin with a nice face cream. And you, may, you maybe you make sure that your brows are nice and sort of tamed. And a lip gloss or a lip balm, that can look amazing. Um, if you're not big on makeup, but also I like the look of, you know, like the eyeliner and mascara, that's really nice, or sometimes just mascara, there are a lot of options. Um, but hair, skin and nails is a big one. So for a handbag, I think the easiest way to look like your handbag is more expensive is go for a structured, simple, sort of more neutral type handbag that you can wear every day. Do not choose a slouchy handbag because the designer handbags are rarely slouchy. They're always quite structured. So I found this handbag, which is like my daily handbag. It's a really nice, simple, structured handbag from Katie Loxton and it's not real leather or anything like that, but I think it just looks really, really simple but chic. And I think it was on like 40% sale when I got it, so I think I got it for like 25 pounds and a really simple sort of gold um, zip and I like the fact that it's just so structured. I'm really big on having a zip that goes all the way across because then nobody can snatch their hands in your handbag and steal your purse. But you don't need to spend the world. I think really good places are like New Look, H&M and places like that. But just try and look for a more structured handbag because I think that's where it looks like it a little bit more expensive and also if you stick to a more neutral color palette like grays, nudes and blacks, you can wear them every day. For your accessories, I think it's really important to just keep it really simple but there are a few things that I think you can do that really can make the outfit look more chic. So adding a hat, hats are really chic and in the summer I think it's really nice to wear one of those sort of like big brimmed floppy hats. I think they look really chic. You can get them in Primark. I think mine was like four pounds. Then also just adding sunglasses to your outfit, I think always makes makes, makes it look more expensive. Um, even if it's just a really casual outfit and it doesn't need to be really sunny outside, throw on the sunglasses and you just feel way more put together. Um, I love to get my sunglasses on like misguided ASOS and they cost like 15 pounds. I've never bought a pair of designer sunglasses because I'm so petrified I would lose them or sit on them. I also wanted to mention fabric, the importance of fabric. I've mentioned this before, but 
fabrics like polyester and viscose and just those plasticky kind of fabrics, they can just look really, really cheap. You wanna try and stick to cotton fabric, but there are some really good options as well. Like if you do find a top that is in a polyester fabric, it doesn't necessarily mean that it does automatically look less expensive. I just think you have to be really picky and careful because you can find some really good polyester fabrics that look like silk. In stores like Topshop and um, Warehouse, places like that, that are a little bit more expensive, they will use a higher end quality polyester than maybe like Boohoo. Then also the colours that you want to stick to. I love to stick to pretty much black, white, um, tan, navy, red, and I do throw a few other colours in there, but that's kind of like my basic colour palette. I think if you throw in like a hot pink, it has to be a really well made piece for it to not look like it, like it would be a little bit cheaper. Um, obviously there are high end designers that make clothes in those colours, but they're gonna be using really expensive fabrics and they're gonna be made really well. So you just wanna be careful when you are throwing in those more sort of like vibrant colors like yellows and pinks and things like that. Then on that same theme, I wanted to discuss prints. So the, so the sort of classic prints that sort of stand the test of time are polka dots, stripes, um, leopard print, some animal print. You, you do have to be a little bit more careful, but I think if you go to H&M and you find a really nice leopard print shirt in a really good fabric, that can look really expensive. Um, but I think you want to steer clear of sort of like maybe Aztec print or um, some floral print can look really not that expensive. Um, if you were to go into say Reefs and find a floral print dress, they're gonna just nail it and it's gonna look really expensive. But sometimes if you go into say Primark and you find a floral print dress, it might not look quite up to scratch. So you wanna be really careful when you are choosing your fabrics and tend to steer more towards the sort of classic prints. Faux leather jackets, um, you can find some really good ones, but there are also some really bad ones. I think a faux leather jacket can sometimes be one of the most uh, easiest things to spot when it's from a cheaper shop because the leather or the faux leather they use is just very thin and very plasticky. So you wanna be really careful when you're choosing a leather jacket. Good places to look for faux leather jackets would be places like Miss Selfridge or Topshop, and you wanna maybe spend a little bit more, um, but not, you know, you don't have to break the bank and spend 300 pounds on like a mango real leather jacket, but you maybe wanna spend say like 40 quid, and it's gonna last a long time. You can wear a leather jacket with anything, but you wanna make sure like the zips don't look too cheap, and the fabric doesn't look too cheap, and the style and the cut, all of those things are really important to bear in mind. Um, also, ripped, jeans can look amazing but they can also look very casual and not very luxury at all so if you want to look really put together maybe steer clear from a ripped jean unless you want to look really really casual um, and go for just a really nice sort of skinny black jean that's just really flattering to your figure. I wanted to talk about coats for a minute because New Look do really, really, really nice coats. I get a lot of my coats from New Look because I think they're made really well and they don't cross the earth. A tan or camel coloured coat, I think can look very luxury and very on trend. Even if you're throwing it on with a pair of jeans and white trainers, the camel coat can just add that bit of chicness to an outfit. Um, Primark also do some really nice coats as well that don't cross the earth. But yeah, I love a camel coat. That's like one of my favorite wa wardrobe pieces. Then I don't want to sound cheesy, but I do believe confidence is going to be key here. So you want to walk out the door, you want to feel really good about your outfit. Sometimes if you throw on the sunglasses and a pair of heels, you can just feel way more confident. Look up, don't look at the floor, smile, all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, I just think that's something to bear in mind. So it's gonna really help you out if you've got a smile and you're holding your head up high. So that was everything. Um, I'm sure there are so many more amazing tips out there 
to look luxury on a budget. So if you have any other tips, please do leave them in the comments below. I love to see your ideas. I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope there was a lot of take homes that you could write down and maybe start to use in your wardrobe. And I just, I just love the idea that you really don't have to spend much money to get an outfit that looks really chic and luxury. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like this video and follow me on Instagram. It's at in the Lux, and I will see you in my next video.